Today, I would like to present a Quokus development workflow within VS Code, alongside key features provided by the recently released VS Code Quokus extension. To start off, I will create a new Maven-based Quokus project using the extension's generate a Maven project command. The wizard will prompt the user for the project specifications. Here, you can add Quokus extensions to the new project. The last used option will allow you to choose the previously selected Quarkus extensions from a previously generated project. Once you are done selecting your extensions, press continue and select the directory you would like to generate the project in. A new window opening the new project will open. Moving on, I will show one possible way to create a new resource and debug it. To create a new resource, I will create a new empty Java file. The VS Code extension offers snippets that you might find useful. One of the snippets allows you to insert a Quarkus REST resource class. Immediately after insertion, you can change the package name. After you're done, you can press tab to change the path. And after that, press tab once more to change the method name. To debug the current Quarkus project, call the debug current Quarkus project command provided by the VS Code extension. This will call the maven quarkus dev command in the integrated terminal, and will attach the debugger. To confirm that the application is running, I will go to the demo endpoint, and we should be greeted with the hello message. I will now edit this endpoint by extracting this variable into a method that returns an uppercase greeting. After saving the file, I can go back into the web browser. Without restarting anything, once I hit refresh, I will see that the changes are already available. This is thanks to the live coding feature provided by the Quarkus framework. Once you're finished debugging, you could exit the debug session by clicking the disconnect button right here. Afterwards, you will be asked if you would like to terminate the Quarkus application as well. Moving on, in addition to the project generation wizard, there is also an add extensions wizard, which allows you to add Quarkus extensions to your current project. After selecting the Quarkus extensions to add, a maven command to add the selected extensions will run in the integrated terminal. Finally, I'd like to demonstrate the language features provided by the VS Code extension for the application.properties file. Once inside the application.properties file, you will be able to get completion items for Quarkus property keys. The list of completion items are updated every time you add or remove Quarkus extensions, which help you only receive the completion items relevant to your project. At the side, you will be presented with the Quarkus properties documentation which includes useful information like the value type. Some properties have a default value, like this one, with the default being 8080. On completion, the default value will also be inserted. Completion also works for values, for properties expecting a boolean or enumerated type. Place the cursor after the equal sign and invoke completion. And if you need to see the documentation once more, they are available on Hover. The completion features and hover feature are also available when you have a profile. In addition, the VS Code extension presents a tree view containing all property keys and values available in the Explorer outline over here. This offers a neat, grouped representation of the application.properties file. And lastly, there is validation support for unknown properties. For unknown properties, there will be a warning like so. I hope this video gave you an idea of the current Quarkus development experience in VS Code and the VS Code Quarkus extension. Thank you for watching.